Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance. In this video, we're gonna discuss how to load dependencies within Breakdance locally or from another file or however you would like. Some effects in Breakdance, such as scrolling animations, use a CDN file to load the script, and this may not be desired if you wish to host content locally or if you're worried about government regulations or other concerns. To work through this, we've included an action called Breakdance Reusable Dependencies URLs that you can use to change the URLs of any dependencies within Breakdance. This is really useful for changing current dependencies such as GSAP so that it can be loaded locally or even creating new dependencies with Element Studio. For now, we're just gonna go over how to change GSAP to a local version. We have a dual heading here that has an animation with a scrolling effect. So you can see as you scroll up and down the page, the location of the heading moves from left to right. Let's look at the page on the front end so that we can see the scripts being loaded by the CDN. With the page loaded, let's inspect the elements. We'll go to sources, and we can see that if we look under the by path option, we can see the unpackaged CDN with GSAP loaded. This means that our site is contacting unpackaged CDN, grabbing the files, and then displaying them. These are the files that we want to change so that we can load them locally. To get started, the first thing we need to do is to download GSAP. This can be done by going to gsap.com, going to the installation page, and clicking the Get GSAP button. Now with GSAP downloaded and unzipped, we go to the minified file, find the gsap men.js and the scroll trigger men.js files, and we're going to move them to our local installation. In this case, I've added them to WP content, uploads, dependencies, but you can place them wherever you'd like on your server. Next, we're going to go to Breakdance Dependencies API documentation and copy this snippet. We'll then go to our preferred code snippet plugin. In this case, I am using WP Codebox, but you can use whatever code snippet plugin or solution you would like. We'll then paste this snippet in there, and then we're going to update the path to the file. And my example is going to be WP content, uploads, slash, dependencies. And again, this file path will change based on however you uploaded it or where you place the scripts. Next, we're going to save the page, and then we're going to enable the script. Now, if we go back to the front end on Breakdance and refresh the page, we'll see that the unpackaged CDN files no longer load, and this means that our animations are loading locally. And let's go ahead and see the animations still working on the page. So we'll close the inspector, scroll down, and we can see that our dual heading is still animating like it should. And this is just a quick example of showing how to change dependency files in Breakdance.